So I have a couple of queries. Uh, the first one is like uh, about the sponsorship because uh, when I was talking to my employer, the employer is also okay to file a EB1A. So I already have a priority date on uh, March, sorry, February 2021. That's my priority date with the previous company. And I have switched to a new company recently where the employer is like a, a Zurich, which is an American based company, which they are okay to file even in EB1A. So they don't have any restriction unless I have the required skills. Mm -hmm. but, uh, right now, I do not have any of the uh, profile or anything to start with. I'm yet to start fresh okay. uh, in terms of uh, whatever the achievements or outstanding contribution. Maybe I, I feel like I have an ordinary profile. So, but I am ready to build it from now. Uh, my only concern is like, is it, uh, I already saw all, most of your videos and about self sponsoring and all those things. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to get it clarified if employer is already ready to file, maybe down the line in a year. So is mm -hmm. it good to file with an employer or is it still good with the self-petition? Uh, so even if the, the employer files for an EB1A for you, uh, I would recommend that, again, I, I want to dive into the nuance a little bit here because uh, I think there is a section where uh, it says, who is the petitioner, right? Like, is it a self petitioner? Or is it the company being put there as a petitioner on the I-140 application? So um, as long as you take it through the company, the company finances it, uh, company has uh, a, uh, you know, legal team that is willing to work on it, provided they're good. Most corporate mm -hmm. legal teams are not good at EB1A because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it requires a lot of legal creativity and that's not much money. That's a lot uh that's money that they uh, okay yeah there's money that they charge uh that is high on the eb1a but the money they make is not high on the eb1a because it requires a lot of legal creativity to argue and legal time and stuff uh but uh yeah but long story short there is a section that says who is the petitioner if your employer is put down there as the petitioner then you are you are kind of looked into the uh sponsorship but if if despite them supporting you if they still check the self petition box or like don't mention the company as a petitioner then it still counts as a self petition although they have provided you all the resources uh, in that process